look, there's a reason why I'm doing this video for the Red Wings and not the Montreal Canadiens. First off, the Canadiens aren't even that poor off in the standings. Sure, they're doing terribly right now, and the tank for Lafreniere train has really started going strong, but the Canadians were not supposed to be in this position, they were not supposed to be in an eight-game losing streak, but the Red Wings, they're in an even worse losing streak, and they're in an even worse position in the standings, and they're in a position where people thought they would be this bad. So let's talk about how Alexi Lafreniere could help out the Detroit Red Wings. And I'm saying this about Detroit because there was this really interesting tweet that just came out a little bit ago. This comes from Mika Blake McCurdy, a mathematician and freelance data visualization person with focus on the NHL. He's got 29,000 Twitter followers and he posted this graph earlier today on Twitter. Detroit has dug themselves such a hole that they're favored to pick first overall, even over the Senators, who have two first-round picks. Detroit currently has a 15% probability of picking first overall. The Senators have 14%. The Senators have their own first-round pick this year, and they have San Jose's first-round pick that was acquired in the Eric Carlson trade. So... The Senators are in a position where they do have two firsts, and they do not produce all too often, and as a result, they're down there in the standings. But the Red Wings, with their 17 points thus far on the year, are even worse than that, and are in a higher position to win the first overall pick, according to these probability odds. So, let's talk a little bit about the possibilities. Alexi Lafreniere is this year's best NHL draft eligible player. He's a QMJHL player who's honestly doing probably the best things in a QMJHL draft year since Sidney Crosby, and that's a pretty good thing. Right now, Lafreniere is the best player in the QMJHL at 18 years of age. He turned 18 just a little bit ago, but it's not a little bit ago too far to make him eligible for last year's draft. Today, he's 18, 59 points and 28 games played in the QMJHL for the Ramuski Oceanic, first in the league in points, and he's a total beast. Over two points a game right now, and Lafreniere processes the game at such a high level that it's not a surprise that he's getting all of these points. His play style, his offensive production, his offensive instincts, and his skills, they all are so easily translatable to the NHL. People say it all the time, this is a guy who just gets it. He knows how to play hockey properly, and in terms of how you actually do productive offense, Lafreniere is able to shift himself around, adjust himself so that he's able to make his line mates better, and he's able to produce at the best rate possible. This is an elite NHL potential franchise player, and in my opinion, he will be the best forward coming out of these drafts since McDavid. That's not to say that he will be as good as McDavid, it's just saying that I think he's going to be better than Matthews, I think he's going to be better than Line A, I think he's going to be better than Pedersen, I think he's going to be better than Hishier, I think he's going to be better than, eh, Darlene is a debatable defenseman, you know. But I think Lafreniere is going to be the best player out of these drafts since McDavid. And this is a player that can translate into the NHL as soon as next year. And he's a player that's going to do well in his first year. So this is the kind of player that the Detroit Red Wings on left wing could honestly benefit quite highly from. And that's obviously a general comment. Anybody, any team, will benefit very highly from a player like Lafreniere. A player who, in his prime, could be consistently hitting up 100 points in a season. That's how good this young guy is. And an immediate impact from Lafreniere onto this Detroit Red Wings team would boost the Red Wings so much that I'm not going to say that they're going to become a playoff team next year just by adding Lafreniere, but it certainly gives them a shorter window of a rebuild. Because Lafreniere, he's going to be on his entry level for three years, probably by his third year, 
on the entry level deal, I'd say the Red Wings could probably start to make a push for a wild card. By then, Zadina hopefully is in the top six. Larkin is still going to be good. Valeno should be on the team. Cider should probably be on the team. Hironik should be a legit top four defenseman. And the things should all start coming together. Who knows what's going to go on in net at that time, but... For now, the way things are looking with the Detroit Red Wings and their prospects and their development and their years going forward, adding Lafreniere takes this team's playoff chances from five years down the line to two or three. And that is a huge, huge jump. Especially for a team that's at 17 points right now and that's lost 10 straight games. The Red Wings have lost 10 straight and 8 straight in regulation, so they're in a really bad spot right now. That's why their slump has led them into getting the first overall pick odds, which is why we're making this video here today. And I wanted to just talk a little bit about the possibilities of how things would mesh. Imagine having a first line of Alexi Lafreniere, Dylan Larkin, and Philip Zadina. That's a line that can absolutely succeed. The speed of Dylan Larkin, the playmaking and offensive vision of Alexi Lafreniere, and the goal scoring of Zadina. This could be, if it all works out in their favor and they all progress properly, one of the best lines the Detroit Red Wings will ever see, and one of the best lines, if not the best lines, in the NHL by the time they hit their primes. This is such a golden opportunity for the Red Wings, and sure, they're losing games, but if it's all gonna get Lafreniere at the end, I think it's gonna be absolutely worth it. He's a player that can single-handedly win you hockey games, and you haven't been doing that all too much if you're Detroit lately. So, I know this has been a tough season for Red Wings fans, and... I get in my comments, they're trying to find things to be happy about, and believe me, I'm trying to be there too, because I really like the Detroit Red Wings prospect pool, I like what Iserman has done with the team, and getting a guy like Alexi Lafreniere first overall would be a huge blessing to this organization. And heck, even if it's not Lafreniere, if you drop to second or you drop to third, Quinton Byfield, Lucas Raymond, Anton Lundell, Alexander Holtz, all of these guys can be absolute game changers and absolutely elite players down the line. Some of them sooner than later. Even on the off chance that Steve Eiserman goes up there and drafts a German player by the name of Tim Stutzel, second or third overall, it could honestly be justified. Sider was a guy who last year they did that at the 6th overall spot and it shocked the world. But nowadays we're taking a look at Sider and saying that he's pretty gosh darn good. I made a video about that just a few days ago. Tim Stutzel is another German player who, in my opinion, could compete for that top 5 spot. But because he plays in Germany, it's not necessarily all that guaranteed. But Lafreniere is obviously the big fish here, and he will be an absolute game changer. He can help out the Red Wings. He can honestly push everything forward and make it look easy. In my opinion, Lafreniere is guaranteed for an easy 50 points next year in the NHL. And I may even be lowballing him a little bit. I could potentially see Lafreniere get upwards of 60, 70 points in his first year and not be surprised. This is the kind of player that NHL teams could totally sell tickets off of. And he can do it single-handedly. Give him elite players, and he becomes even better. Lafreniere Zadina, that sounds amazing. And it will be amazing. But I want to hear to you now, because I spent all this time waxing poetic about Philip Zadina and talking about how Lafreniere is going to be an absolute god at the NHL. But I want to hear what you think, because... If the Detroit Red Wings do have the highest probability of getting first in a league where one of the teams below them have two firsts, I think it's actually really worth talking about to explore the benefits of a Lafreniere with the Red Wings. And if it's not Lafreniere, hey, it's Byfield. Hey, it's Raymond. Hey, it's Jamie Drysdale. It's a whole bunch of other elite talent and I want to hear what you have to say about it. I hope you enjoyed this video social that I trust 99 and bye. <laughs>